Yeah, Texans are are, are going to be a fun team this year. Yeah, uh, not everybody was on their bandwagon last year, having a rookie quarterback come in, and they had some interesting talent up and down that roster. And man, they just really capitalized via draft, via free agency, and the 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 development of their rookie quarterback and CJ Stroud. Nobody anticipated how good he was going to play. Some people, like I, even on our show, we, we thought he was going to do very well, but we didn't think he was going to do this well. Uh, for a rookie, this is a rarity, and he just came in like a gangbuster, like just literally took the league by storm as a rookie, made very, very limited mistakes, capitalized on almost everything, and, and had a great cast to, to work with. All very young. Look at the receiving core. Nico Collins had a tremendous year last year. Mm -hmm. Tank Dell did before mm -hmm. his injury, injury. Yeah. Um, but now he's he's groomed to come back 100% healthy. And they they also don't forget about guys like John Mechie the third, who was up and coming and developing and coming back from injury. He's going to obviously be in this rotation. Ben Scourneck, which is a interesting name to keep an eye on got traded from the Rams. He's more of a big body possession type of wide, rec wide receiver, but makes the chains move. Uh, definitely going to be impactful. And then we can't, we can't not say his name, right? You know, Stefan Diggs, mm -hmm. who from the bills, everybody knows Stefan Diggs, mm -hmm. a true number one, a veteran in this league and seen as one of the better wide receivers in this league. He's going to team up with these, with this young core of wide receivers at the same time, tremendous depth behind them. Uh, look, they even have Robert Woods penciled in as, as like the, like the fifth, sixth wide receiver. Like it's just crazy. The amount of depth that they have at this position. Um, and, and we have to give props to the, the coaching staff, mm -hmm. uh, D'Amico Ryan's in his rookie year as a head coach, taking over this team, grooming the defense as well as coaching and leading the, the offense to, to many victories to many surprising wins. Um, it's been amazing for his, you know, his catalog and hit in his, you know, job history to go along with another yet ta very talented offensive coordinator and very young and Bobby Slowick, who worked extremely well with the quarterbacks, with the offense, and then a new face to the defensive coordinator position. Mm -hmm. Matt Burke last year mm -hmm. did an amazing job following <laughs> D'Amico Ryan's in his steps it is an amazing coaching staff that they assembled. It's going to continue this year. And when you look at this offense as a whole, when you look at their offensive line, they got even better. Mm -hmm. They're in the interior offensive line, very young, very, very stout. But the tackles, right, to me, are, are the only kind of concern that you could bring up for this offense is injuries, where you have Laramie Tunsil, where you have, on the other side, Titus Howard. Both guys that are veterans that have been there that have done it that are pro bowlers, those guys if they can stay healthy, man, oh man, this offensive line is super good along with all these weapons. Mm -hmm. And then you, then we got to look at obviously we talked about Stroud and touched on him, but Dalton Schultz, a tight end, had a tremendous year last year. That's going to continue. Yes, you have all those receivers, but you also have Dalton Schultz, who was a big time favorite of CJ Stroud to distribute the, the football to. And then oh yeah, the backfield. Uh, what are they going to do there? Oh, I don't know. They they, they have Damian Pierce and Joe freaking Mixon mm -hmm. from the Bengals. Mm -hmm. Like that is a two headed monster. Not a lot of defenses want to face. And all in all, with that whole offense put together, they not only got better, but now they're even more dangerous than they were a year prior. So there's nothing as a Texans fan going into the season. You got to be super confident, super hyped. And, and say, okay, who, who's going to stop us this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing. You look at the team all together as a whole, and they're the complete package. And then, like you said, but then there's more. They add on to it. when The running game was good enough when you look yeah. at the young Damian Pierce right there running all over the field. You got Joe Mixon, the veteran now, so you can even sprinkle them back and forth with these two guys and go one-two punch. Mm -hmm. And what really was key for them is on the offensive side, No, you know, C.J. Stroud going, what, 20 – three touchdowns and five turnovers so eliminating the the their turnovers and winning the turnover battle 
on the offensive side and that defense keeping them in the games and being the number one ranked defense against passing touchdowns as well. So uh, stopping other teams from scoring, keeping them in the game. And like you said, that rookie playing so well in pretty much mistake free football and keeping them in the games. And you only think that they can learn from that first playoff game here. These guys weren't expected to be there. They kind of got punched in the mouth when they got there by a tough uh, Baltimore team. But now they can maybe come back here from this and learn from that and get back there and, and build with these additional weapons that they have. Where, like you said, they, the rich get richer, and, and here they are. Mm -hmm. They didn't need some weapons like that, but it definitely doesn't hurt, especially when you've got – a rookie oh quarterback God. playing the way he <laughs> is right now and on that rookie deal. So that is key with a lot of teams here to get that get going quick with you, get that rookie to perform well early on on that contract and get him some help around that you will pay and and set you up for the long run as, as well. And that's how we've seen these dynasties work. We're, right. we're watching it being uh, portrayed here now with the Kansas City Chiefs right now. So they're the at the top of the pinnacle right now. Uh, the guys that need to get knocked off the mountain here by some of these teams, and a lot of people think it is the Houston Texans. Yeah, and and then and then if you go to look at their defense, and, and that's the thing is like, okay, well, how could they improve on this defense? Uh, they bring over another none other than one of the best pass rushers in the game, Daniel Hunter from the Vikings yeah, to team him up with a guy by the mm -hmm. name of Will Anderson Jr. That you might remember from last year, rookie yeah. last year made a mm -hmm. huge impact. Uh, but now they're teaming up with Daniel Hunter. What, oh my God. And then you look at the interior guys that aren't huge names around the league, but let me tell you, they are difference makers. Danico Autry, Foley Fudakasi, like they are big time heavyweights in the interior. Those guys are going to pay off huge dividends for them. And then they're linebackers. Christian Harris, Aziz al Alashir, guys that might not be household names, but guys that get the job done, guys that D'Amico Ryan's himself handpicked for this defense that they like to run. And then you look at their secondary, which is very young, by the way. So the the, the, the motto of, of this roster is youth for the most part. Yes, they brought in some veteran leadership, but Derek Stingley Jr., healthy yet again, is going to lock down very dangerous. And then Jalen Petrie, who had a season cut short last season, but man, this is a very young and up and coming safety in this league. And are they glad to see him back in the lineup, teaming him up with veteran Jimmy Ward, mm -hmm. formerly of the 49ers. This is yeah. just, it, it's just <laughs> unbelievable yeah. on how they still have the youth, but any holes that they might've had, they didn't just fill them with vets. They filled them with proven vets yes, that can yes, still play vets. at a high level. Mm -hmm. And then with the rookie coming in, Kamari Lasseter, who I know from the, the Texans organization, have had their eye on this kid coming out of the draft very intently because even though he doesn't have great top-end speed, he's very instinctive, he read and reacts, and is very rarely out of position as a corner. So that cornerback position right there, along with Jeff Fokuda, who they acquired, they are going to battle it out in training camp. May the best corner win, but whoever does, I got all the confidence in this world in this defense and this offense to take themselves to the next level. Hey, everybody, this is Big John from Grumblings Media, and I just want to say thank you for watching our content. If you want to support our efforts here at Grumblings Media, just smash the subscribe button right here, totally free, or just go ahead and consume more of our great content. Click either one of these two boxes.